Well, hello, and welcome to our continuing Bible devotional. We're currently in the book of Ephesians, and we're in Ephesians chapter 5, starting at verse 7 today, where he says this, Therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true, and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Now, Paul, uh, the context here is Paul's been speaking about various behaviors that are unbiblical, immoral, contrary uh, to God's expressed will uh, in, written in the Old and the New Testament. And he's telling Christians that you can't continue in that path and don't become partners with them. Now, what this means is that we're not to participate in the same kinds of behaviors, the same value, moral system. It does not mean that we can't have friendships, associations, and so forth with those who are not Christians, provided that those associations and friendships are not influencing us in the wrong direction, but rather, hopefully, we're influencing them. But the key idea here is Christians should be separate, different from the world around them. And he reminds them of that in the next verse <clears throat> by using two things that could not be more different, darkness and light. He says, once, before Christ came into your life, you were darkness. That characterized your life, morally dark, spiritually dark. But now you are light in the Lord. Not only are you light on the inside, but you're supposed to be representing him and shining the light on the outside. And you simply can't do that if you are affirming, agreeing, and and uh, going to the, in the same direction as the culture. Part of what the Christian calls it is to, is to be countercultural, to be revolutionary, to be rebellions in the healthy sense of the word. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and so we have a, a challenge here in our culture where Christians are so concerned about gaining approval, applause, or filling the pews with numbers that they're, they're compromising and trying to find places of of agreement, trying to find ways that we can not be so strong against certain behaviors. And yet the Bible is saying in our lives and in our words, <clears throat> we're supposed to be as different as light is from darkness. And we're to, not only in our words, but we're to walk as children of light, as those who've been given understanding, no longer compelled and no longer under the deception of spiritual and moral darkness, because that's a description Paul gives of the world. The fruit of <clears throat> being in the light is that you will do what is good and right and true. And what is good and right and true is not what you feel in your heart is good and right and true or what the culture or what polls or what Supreme Court says, but it's what God says is good, what God says is right, what God says is true, because those are things that are truly good and truly right and truly true. So the Christian's job is to strive to say, you know, what is it that God, that pleases God? Discern, verse 10 says, try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. And that means you spend time in God's word, in prayer, uh, gathering with other Christians and saying, what is it? Not just, not just going with what you feel, not just saying this seems right to me, but really searching out God's word and finding out what is it? What, what kind of life, what kind of behaviors financially, what kind of speech, uh, what kind of, uh, of sexual activity, what kind of attitudes, what kind of relationships, what kind of things please the Lord, strive to know those, and the point, of course, of knowing those is so that we live those out. So don't be partners with them in uh, participating in their behavior. Uh, in another place in the book of Revelation, Paul, the, the Apostle John writes, come out from among them, flee from them, don't be partakers of the same kinds of activities and value system because you're no longer in darkness. Now you're in light, therefore walk as children of light. And there really is no comparison between light and darkness. They are vastly different in uh, both literally and spiritually. And I trust that you and I are living vastly different moral systems, value systems, spiritual beliefs, and behaviors than the world around us. Have a blessed day.